Again, if I were looking at this question, it's number 12, I'd be looking at this and saying that, you know, I could use some formulas for that, but I don't think I want to go there. I'm going to use a U substitution to see if it's simpler. U equals, what do you get there? 8 minus 8 theta. What does du equal? It's minus 8 d theta, all right? So I'm going to say minus 1 eighth of the du is identical to d theta. Let's go for this, see what we get. Put a little star over here. And the first thing I'll do is look at the, the d theta in the problem. And the d theta in the problem is just simply minus one eighth of a du. That's done. I'm looking at the sign of uh, that uh, argument, which is eight minus eight theta. So it's really just the sign of u. All right, let's keep moving along. Minus one eighth. The antiderivative of sine is minus cosine of u plus some constant of integration. Let's keep moving along. There's going to be one eighth of a cosine. What's u? It's right over here. It's eight minus eight theta plus c. Let's look at the key, see if we got it right. And I'm looking at it. I'm seeing the cosine of eight minus eight theta. You know, it's one eighth of it plus c. We're good to go to the next question. Thank you.